originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And art's been pretty much my craft since I was a child. I used to collect comic books and things like that, you know, like most of the kids. You know, I was collecting Marvel comics and all that stuff. And when we talked about the lack of black characters, and then the books that did have the black characters, the characters are either sidekicks or, you know, there's like a lot of little racial slants and things like that, you know, that, that probably made the character look weak or the character, or if the character is physically strong, he's probably petty in the mind. Like, they're heroes, but they're not really heroic. So when people say, you know, were these Marvel characters your heroes? I say, well, they're heroes, but they're not my heroes. You know, they're somebody else's heroes. Like, I'm real. I've been here now. Yup. Where's my bro? I'm telling you. How you doing? Good, man. Good. Remember, I said, I said, uh, it was my dream. Yes. I said, well, my nice dream. Nice to be careful. I started this. Yeah, I, said, I saw the outline. I said, oh, yeah, with the kids. So, I'm, I'm doing a little workshop inside. And so, we, we go back and finish. You might know about the Tirayo Senegal. I don't. Uh, the, the Second World War, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they came here and took uh, Senegalese people, Malian people, Ghanaian, to, to, to go at the French Republic because the Nazis was occupying France. Oh, this is what you were just telling me, right? Okay. And when they came back, when, when they come back, like, they got killed by French military. They said that it was a missionary, but it wasn't true. They knew that the African people, they went there and do the war with them. Now they understand who white people are. They understand now that white people are not stronger than they used to think. So now, to stop that, that consciousness to spread, this is when they killed them in Charoy in, 19, in 1944. So this is the, the, we are doing the festival to commemorate all the, the fallen soldiers. So this is Abu. I don't know the, all the names, right? But let's let's get. 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 let it was first time, first time. the 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 my dev class um, If you could speak to African American children, what would you ask them and what would you want to know about them? Man, ben conseil am lu mané di conseil que ñu daal di jël pays ubi ko daal comme ha nga man ni man amérique xawma fa dara olof moy sama lak français je me damay débuter donc mais ñu gënon ka yaata pour américain mëna ñëw fi au moins ñu am benen langage budul am anglais français ko na don avocat avocat ah am nga waral parce que dama sel deug bi injustice bi dafa bari 
The things that you're teaching them with the skill set, the, the skill set refines them so then they can now turn that skill set to project their stories and tell the world what's going on here. Drawing from the soul is taking your artwork and telling your story. You be the visual revolution. Um, don't continue to create from somebody else's viewpoint. You need to tell your stories. Let people know what's happening here. Um, you know, when we when we observe what other people create, sometimes we get caught up in their creativity and we lose ourselves. Don't worry about what all these other companies, all these other people are doing. We have to tell our own stories and do it, do it boldly, do it aggressively, and do it globally. So, my mission is to tell African children worldwide to draw from the soul. Drawing from the soul. Drawing from the soul. I had like close to a thousand comic books. I used to sell, I used to collect from saving my lunch money. Like I wouldn't eat, I would buy comic books after school. I, I said to my dad, I said, well, how come we don't have like comics for us black kids? Like, you know, things that, that we created that's for us. And my dad said, well, you, you gotta be the one to do that, mister. He didn't tell me what to do. He, he just said, I just want you to be aware of this. So for me, at that moment, the books had no more value to me. So my parents had the fire going one night in the fireplace and I brought my comics down and I burned them. And I was done with it. And that was like sixth grade. The shift in my mentality in terms of wanting to create something for us. To me, it wasn't just about making comic books. It was about making a statement. So the idea of drawing from the soul called it drawing from the soul because I wanted little kids to I didn't want to just teach them the skill of drawing I wanted them to understand the power in drawing because you have a lot of artists out here who got mad skills but they don't have any sense of self they don't have knowledge of self so they're using their power to uphold the system of um, that propagates the images like I'm talking about that that's showing us as subservient saying is like 
drawing from the soil is something very important because here in Senegal most of the cultural or artistic events are financed by the French Republic. So we cannot do things from our own perspective. So this is this is very very, very complicated if you are trying to be an artist and you don't have enough material to express yourself. The solution for me is like to have some 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 black you know some black you know established you know organization that helps kids do what they want to do to draw from yeah. this not drawing from other persons yeah. 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 yeah of course and, uh, it's a global mission yeah On est mélangé à l'intérieur, c'est le monde.